Today we are going to attempt to steal our opponent's deck. Let's see how it goes. What is going on everybody and welcome to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. This has been a really big week for us. I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been so supportive of the change with Country Fried coming on board and everything like that. It really does mean a lot. Uh, I'm still getting over my nasal congestion -y stuff so I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit odd today but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna see if we can get today's deck to work. Now, this is my own version of this list. However, I've seen a ton of different versions here. Uh, so it is something where, you know, you can kind of play around with a lot of the slots here. I went for a more card draw heavy version and a more streamlined version. Uh, when it comes to the lower uh, CMC slots. So to talk about this, the idea is very, very simple. We're just trying to steal our opponent's stuff. Uh, now to do that, we have a number of cards. Siphon Insight is the first one. Uh, we can instant speed throw this out there, pull a card from the opponent's deck and then play it. Also great discard fodder for cards like Tainted Indulgence in the early turns of the game because it really isn't that much more expensive on the flashback side. Uh, and worst case scenario, of course, we can just reuse it. So uh, very, very good card. Obviously, a, kind of a backbone piece to the deck for sure. Uh, the other way we steal stuff are two other ways. Uh, Katosi, the Silent Spider here. When it enters the battlefield, you exile a card other than a basic land from the opponent's graveyard. You then search their hand in their deck for every instance of that card. Uh, you basically get to pull one and play it, though. That's the idea. Uh, and it's a really, really nice little piece. You could pull this back with something like Blood on the Snow if you would like to, if we've got enough Snowlands to do that. Uh, or just, of course, ramp it out with something like the Celestis. We do, of course, have Xanathar as well, which is one of the bigger Steel Stuff cards. At the beginning of your upkeep, until the end of the turn, the other opponent can't cast spells. Uh, or excuse me, just the opponent. And then you can look at the top card of their deck at any time and play the top card of their deck. Uh, you can spend mana as though or mana of any color to cast the spells cast this way. So uh, essentially, we just get to play off the top of the opponent's deck. Uh, we also, and this is one of the pieces that I add in most of the time for this list, uh, we get to add Tabalt Cosmic Imposter here. Really want to play it for the Tabalt side, not the Vulky side. We're using the Celestis to actually play this, but uh, the idea is we get to play cards that are exiled with this. So if we're exiling things on the opponent's side of the field, the top card of their deck, or all their graveyards, we get to replay everything. Uh, so very, very powerful card for sure. We've got tons of control elements, some spot removal. We've got some sweepers between Blood on the Snow and the Meat Hook Massacre. We do have Soren and Loth, both for some card draw as well as token generation. Memory Deluge, the Tainted Indulgence, all for card draw. And a little bit of interaction with the Test of Talents as a one of, just in case, and then the Jawari Disruption as a two of. This also ups our land count to uh, 26 because we do just have a regular 24 uh, plus the Celestis plus the Jawari Disruption. So that is my version of the deck. Again, this is a work in progress deck. This is one that I feel like I always change up a little bit. Uh, and it's just something fun to try. It doesn't have any really new cards in it either, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So this is really just a, a, a deck that's been a while uh, around for a while that I wanted to try out. Uh, and I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, oh, excuse me. Tainted Indulgence is the new one. Uh, but it is a nice card to have. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Hopefully have some fun. Hopefully get some wins. We may not get to the full three games. These do take a while but we'll do the best we can. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, do we keep this hand? You know, I th weirdly think we can because we can lead on this as the land. We, of course, give this up as a counter option, but we've got plenty of other things we'll want to do, so that is okay. We can also get to instant speed do all of this, so we can actually just pass here and see what happens. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for the Siphon Insight. Let's just see. Uh, not always the best option, but it doesn't necessarily hurt either. Uh, let's actually go for this. This gives us a red land, which is really helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it out like this, and we'll just pass. So this actually helps with the Jwari, or the, uh, Tibalt quite a bit. Uh, it just gives us that red source. We are behind on snow lands, of course, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and siphon inside again. Kinda just wanna keep stealing their deck. Uh, if we can do it, it's great. They're gonna play with fire, sure. It's fine. So they do get to scry one to the top. Ah, okay, fair enough. We'll take the, the black source here. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Uh, yeah, 
and we just get to pass i would like to get the ice tunnel down at some point that's our second blue source for the memory deluge uh but we do get to just kind of continue the beats on the stealing of their their deck here if we'd like i do really like this uh all right sick let's go ahead and do the tainted indulgence here um what do we want to throw back I think it's probably just the memory deluge for now uh as good as memory deluge is we really don't need it at the moment so i'm not stressing about it let's go ahead and lull and throw two of those tokens out we are against a burn deck so worth noting that lulth is probably gonna die to a burn spell here that's fine uh we've got plenty of ways to bring it back and it looks like they're kind of a grixis control ish list uh but we'll see as we go through Let's go ahead and play this um yeah i think we could just pass and siphon insight most likely on their turn uh they do have plenty of options of ways to uh attack us with the man lands here so i'm curious to see what they end up doing but we'll see uh they haven't played that much yet which is interesting and they may not still Okay, we'll just siphon insight. There's no reason not to at this point. Uh, okay, so we take this just so they don't have it, more so than anything else. Uh, one, two, three. So we do kind of want to just get the snowlands going, I think, here. Let's go ahead and throw that down. We'll just go pass. Uh, we also could just play this at any time, so actually really nice uh this does give us an instant speed way to deal with the man lands so we're kind of just building up the tools we need at this point um and we are building up that snow land count so we can actually bring loth back next turn if we needed to this is fine so we'll just go ahead and kill it if they can protect it, that's fine. I don't really care, but we're going to force the issue for sure. Oh, this is interesting. This has been a really fascinating game already. Uh, I They haven't done a terrible amount to us, but... Okay, that's cool. Awesome. So, we get a man land out of there. That's really good. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this out. Uh, and now I think we pass because we do have Memory Deluge open. Plus, or, or excuse me, Siphon Insight. So we've actually got some good options here. Uh, I guess we can wait. We don't have to do that quite yet. Okay. So they ping us for one. That's fine memory deluge let's really sculpt our hand here if we can all great options uh let's pick up these two no let's pick up you for sure uh i'm gonna take the blood on the snow not the soren i don't know that that's correct to be honest but i fully expect they've got quite a number of scary things one two Three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> so. Let's do this. This is going to allow us to bring back the Lulth, which is great. Uh, do they have a... Okay, big score. Sure. They've got quite a lot of mana available, and they have dug through their deck a lot. Let's go ahead and get the Lulth. Let's spit these two guys out. Um, and we just get to pass with either Siphon or Tainted up. Uh, this is an interesting hand or like uh, match here because they're definitely a like black red control list, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. So we do have to sacrifice that and lull. Which is annoying, but again, we've got the other Blood on the Snow to bring that back. I went with Blood on the Snow because, again, I do expect they've got quite a number of ways to deal with stuff. So let's do this. 
Oh, man. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's not going to do very much. And I do think we just throw the... Oh, we just have to discard one. Duh. <coughs> Jeez, so now we are in a really bad shape. Uh, because they will be able to deal with most of what we've got going on. Uh, so let's do first things first. Let's attack. Get our first damage in of the, uh, the game. I'm going to go ahead and siphon now. If we get something good, I mean, that's not very good. Uh, pretty much a dead card. Uh, so they are just going to burn us out. So what can we do? Uh, nope. We destroy all planeswalkers, which doesn't kill anything, but it does give us the Loth back. So we're basically just going to force the issue as best we can, um, and we'll pass. There's not really a lot we can do at this point. With Arcane Bombardment out, it's a race. I mean, that's all that this amounts to. They get to go for this. Hopefully they hit terribly somehow. I don't know what they could be. Okay, it's big score. Big score is pretty good. Draws them cards and it gives them extra mana. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, here's to hoping, guys. We, uh, we probably don't have a good shot at this at this point. Uh, what is this? Target player reveals their hand and choose a creature. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So then they get to do all of this over again. Oh my god, they hit Invoke Despair. <laughs> wow, that's really terrible. Uh, okay. Well, now we're, like, definitely dead. They get to do so much off of this. Uh, yeah. So they get the Meat Hook Massacre. And now they've refilled their hands. Like, this is so good. <laughs> I love this deck. I really want to play this deck. That might be, uh, a newcomer for the channel. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Worth noting, guys, I do know today is a flex day, uh, technically. We are, um, let's see what they do. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. We are going to, um, keep doing some standard today. We might jump into some modern. I have been testing a little bit there. Um, I'm going to good game them here. But that'll probably be either in addition to or not for another week or two. We want to continue doing some standard content. Uh, all right. Well, that was terrible. Let's jump into game two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game two. Let's see if we can do a little better. Uh, I... I'm okay with this hand. We've got the Indulgence that'll allow us to draw further into the deck, obviously. And then the Blood Chief's Thirst can hopefully handle whatever they've got going. Uh, we also get to start on two Snowlands, which is great because we do have the blood on the snow. So here's two hoping. Let's go ahead and lead there. Uh, honestly, would love like a Dwari Disruption just to like get them off of a turn to play, whatever it might be. All right, looks like aggro is the matchup, uh, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. So here we just pass uh, and potentially kill something with the march here, uh, which is fine by me. It should be that if we get to blood on the snow mana, we should be okay. This is a frustrating matchup to say the least. Wow, they have had all the peace. That is insane. Uh, Kind of good news, bad news there, because they do waste a good bit of stuff, but um, what I mean is the counters here on this one don't really get used, uh, which is great. So, let's see. Resolve, resolve, resolve. Okay. Uh... So I think what we want to do, x equals 4, 
We will exile, I think, one blood on the stove because we're going to end up blood chiefs thirsting, I think, a lot here. Uh, and we'll hit this. This just does the maximum amount of damage to them, but we also gain the maximum amount of life back. So now we're basically back to where we started, uh, but they've played a lot more cards than we have. And so we're kind of up in that regard. Uh, I do really like that. The question is, do we play it into a relatively unsafe board? I don't think so. I'm just going to go this route. Um, and then we can siphon insight on their turn. I'm just going to keep kind of dealing with what they've got for the for the time being. And like, if we need to soar in to drop something, it's fine. But they basically were going to be able to, to haste out and kill Soren here. So I didn't love just throwing that into a, a board presence like that. Sure. Can't do anything about this. So we just let it happen. Um, honestly, I'm not upset if we hit a land off of the Siphon Insight here. Let's go ahead and do this. Just to mess with them a little bit. Um, I think we take the Red Source knowing that we would rather have that uh, for our future to vault. Um, despite the other one being a relatively important spell, we can't really use its ability anyway, so let's go ahead and take the red source for now. Cool. Uh, yep, do that. So here, we'll blow up one of these. Uh, or attempt to. Excellent. Uh, let's do this. And at this point, we're just in stall territory. Um, we need another land for sure, but I think I'd rather have the 2 3 life linker just to be able to kind of make it a little bit more challenging for them. They can certainly do some, some damage here, but sure. Annoying, not the end of the world. Uh, so now they, if they want to attack in, they're going to have to do something a little more aggressive. Uh, Bloodthirsty Adversary is certainly there. But if we just get a land, we... They didn't do it. That's interesting. I would have thought they would go for that burn. Well, whatever. So they're going to reconfigure onto one of the other two, I imagine. Just so they can get the attack in. Um, I think we take the block. Knowing that if we draw a land, we're just going to end up... Okay, well, it's not a land, but... It's worth throwing out there, and then we can actually test of talents if they play any burn spell. So we are set up to blood on the snow the next turn. We don't get to pull anything back, which is a little annoying, but let's go ahead and test of talents this. I think we, in, no matter what the uh, the spell was, I think we were going to use the test of talents on it just to be safe. Uh, and honestly, that's a pretty good one because it's one that allows them to redraw some cards or essentially play more stuff, and we don't want that ability. Um, we do take a hit here, but we are going to get to blood on the snow. Twice, if we need to. Alright, let's destroy all creatures. We kind of have to do this, despite not being able to pull anything back. Um, we just don't have much else we can do. We're going to play with fire. Annoying. Um. Alright, let's see what happens. So they have a 1-1 one, one left and two cards in hand, one of which is a Thundering Raiju, which I kind of hope they play because that just means they don't have mana for anything else. And we get to Blood on the Snow again and then reset the board. Yep. That's all very good, but we have the answer to the problem. We just have to not die. Um, land is like fine, but not really what we want. All right, it's on them. If they have a haste creature, they win. Uh, so far, we've not had a great showing from this deck, so I would love to win this game. But so far, I mean, this is definitely a difficult matchup in the sense that they do get to just aggro out so much. Look at this, yeah. Uh, so here's to hoping. Um, we do gain a life there, which is great. I'm fine to discard that. Uh, let's do this. I'll take the action. Um, what do I discard here? Part of me wants to take the Siphon Insight play. The other part of me doesn't. 
I think I don't, or I do, excuse me. Um, all right. We're just doing this to basically give us as much interest. Oh, yeah, that's really good. All right, so we basically gained three life that turn. We now have Siphon Insight that we can play and a Lulth. So as long as they don't have anything too crazy this turn, we might be able to get it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That doesn't win them the game, so that's good. They do get some protection on something, which is good, but... Let's go ahead and do this. Just to see. Uh, interesting. So I think we'll take that. So we're going to get three damage in. I wish we had an extra land. Because we could exile a creature here. That'd be great. Uh, specifically, the rabbit battery is the one that I'd like to get rid of. For obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, let's do this kind of have to do this there's not really a better option and I think we pass leaving up the flame blessed bolt we should have played the land but I actually kind of want to have discard fodder as well okay land is good I'm gonna go ahead and kill this so if they wanted to do something they could have that turn uh I'm gonna go ahead and plus we need to gain life. Like, there's literally no reason we shouldn't do this, in my opinion. Do that. Throw that out. Um, I'm not going to Lolth. And I'm not going to attack. So this gains us another life. We get to take the action here. I will discard the Siphon. Um, and we'll see what they've got. We have no idea. This is a... A very tricky game. We're managing because of the Celestis to stay in this, but it's that's a big hit. They have a main deck disenchant. Oh, well, that's pretty good. We can disenchant the rabbit battery, which is pretty good. Oh, and another Celestis. Fantastic. Um, all right, so we definitely play that. We definitely play this to get rid of the rabbit battery. Uh... And again, I think we just pass. This triggers the Celestis, which gives us this. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of the Ice Tunnel because then we can Siphon Insight and hit a Burn Spell on them. Uh, so once we get out of life total, like, we might die range. <laughs> uh, we'll be able to, like, get in for a good solid... Oh, that's very good. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take that. That's like a, it's like a game win option here. Um, I'm gonna decline since we don't have a card in our hand anyway. All right, that's really helpful. Uh, do this. This actually gets in for an attack also. All right, we have a way to win. <laughs> Do we risk the draw? I'm actually going to risk it, yeah. Blood on the snow is pretty good. Uh, keep gaining the life back as best we can. We can drop that in the graveyard pretty efficiently. This is a cr an incredible game. If we're able to pull this off, I will be amazed. This is such a huge, a huge swing. Uh, to be able to pull this is massive. It doesn't do anything because we stole the Slayer. <laughs> I can't believe they did that. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, fantastic. We shut down so much of their deck by pulling this. Like, and we got rid of the burn opportunity. And there we go, the rage quit. Yes, that was amazing, guys. I can't believe that worked. I know that was only two games, but we are going to jo jump into the wrap up because I know these can go a little long. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right. I am so stoked by that game, too. I, we got incredibly lucky there. Uh, I will say we were able to gain a good bit of life throughout the with the Celestis throughout those last few turns, and that was really keeping us into the game. You have to think if they had had a play with fire at a particular point, we would have just died. Uh, and so we we really lucked out there a little bit, uh, but I think we played relatively well 
in that instance and we did the best we could and we did get the win the first game didn't go quite our way but you know what it's okay it's not always gonna go that way i do love the fact that you can steal so much in this version of the list i know some don't run quite as many siphon insights and i get why some uh, the card quality is only as good as the opponent can make it if that makes sense and so you're not always going to get something that works with your deck that synergizes that does anything uh and it's really tricky excuse me but uh it is a really good opportunity to be able to pull stuff off like that which is coming back from a huge deficit to be able to win the game so absolutely phenomenal i loved this deck i hope you guys enjoyed this one i know there's a lot of versions out there so share your own uh with me in the comment section below i would really love to see that uh, and i hope you guys enjoyed it this has been an absolute blast guys thank you so much for watching do not forget check out the stream later on today with country fried in the evening uh, I believe it's 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, but he is on Central Time, so I think it's 7 his time. Uh, but it's going to be an absolute blast, guys. And again, thank you so much for the, the support throughout this huge transition for us. But I love you guys very much. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.